Brad Pitt's son is uh he breaks his silence about the man and 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 you know what i was thinking i was thinking that this was like this is a real sad situation right here man but but you know i was raised by a single mother and i i i know exactly how it feels man so Let's go back real quick before I, I lose track because I can I, I was about to go on a rant, you know. I was about to do a whole, you know, Dear Mama song real quick. Let me let me start from uh, the beginning. This came in from page six. How Brad Pitt really feels about his son Pax Explosive Father's Day rant. So on Father's Day, <laughs> Brad Pitt has no reaction to the recent headlines about his son Pax uh, Jolie Pitt. Allegedly calling him a world class asshole in a resurfaced social media post uh, pack in, from Pack Six. Despite a report claiming Pitt feels the situation is depressing and frustrating, his source close to the actor insists that that could be nothing further from the truth. This is unfortunate that people would keep trying to bring his kids into things, uh, the insider tells us. But, uh, you know, no, this isn't. The this isn't people or me, the media trying to bring his kids into things. From what I said, I saw the source added that Pitt had a uh, divorce, uh, ongoing custody battle. That wasn't it. Uh, no, he he uh, came through and bust out himself and was like, uh, "No, you a world class, uh, you a world class asshole." And I'm trying to find. Uh, yeah, here it is. Brad Pitt has no reaction to his son Pax calling him a world class asshole uh, in a resurfaced social media post. Uh, it's been a long seven years, and it's unfortunate when people unnecessarily raise issues from so far in the past and don't take into consideration the impact it has on the whole family. A source close to the Oscar winner uh, tells Pax Six. I mean, you gotta, like I said, I was raised by a single mother. And at the time, and if I remember correctly, that was the young man who tried to defend uh, her mother, his mother, when Pitt went on that 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 you know had that episode on the plane or something like that. And I think it was something like he like kind of laughed at him or something like that um, uh, when he tried, or maybe it was the other, or maybe it was another sibling. I, I can't remember, but uh, I mean, b boys, boys will. Sometimes we, sometimes I, I, when I was that age, I remember freezing when, when I was in a situation like that. I remember not being able to muster up the strength to do anything. Sometimes we freeze. Sometimes boys will uh, face their fathers and are, are willing to risk it all. Now, you try that shit with me now. <laughs> See what happens now. Um, so... I'm not surprised that uh, that you know he's not he's not afraid to say what he said because I remember hearing that even in the moment when he when Brad was going off that he tried he stood up for his uh, for his mom and I just you know the media spins things you know it could be like alcohol you it, it can be all kinds of things I'm not saying that's what he's suffering from maybe it is maybe it is I can't remember but. After all these years, you hope that something good will come out of it, whether it's whether he learns to um, fight whatever demons he's, he's fighting, the kids uh, find a, a better way to to deal with their relationship with a, a very famous father who's I, I don't see any time soon being canceled. Um, if, if he works on himself, maybe they'll find their way back. But it's hard, man. Especially when you were a young man trying, and you you looking up to to defend your mother like that, when in, in, in the face of a an abusive father or an alleged abusive uh, father, as a abused uh, son uh, myself, I can I I remember that that man that that venom. That's the best way I can describe it. That venom that you, you know, that you feel it turns into hatred after a while. So I don't know if this is still a sore spot for that young man if he if he's worked 
with his uh, uh, worked on his relationship with his dad, or if or if Brad is doing what he needs to do, especially when it's when it's about adopted uh, uh, children, I get so worried that the wrong people are adopting children, like uh, especially from other countries and stuff, for the wrong reasons. I used to, uh, I think, I used to think that that most celebrities like the optics of these types of adoptions and, and stuff. But I've been proven wrong. I'm not, I'm not judging them or Angelina and whatnot. But I've seen, I have known personally people who I felt like they were only doing it for the optics. And I said that's a story for another time. I don't want to name names, but I, I can tell you a story. Um, and it did not end that well for them. But let me move on to the uh, the next topic. Let me know uh, what you think before you, before we move on. Let's see if my if my program is working real quick. We were talking about we were talking earlier about the uh, the last topic. Let me see if I can go back here. Uh, without Melissa, Bur oh we, oh well, we're just getting ahead. Uh, we'll we'll get into that. I'll come back to that comment a bit later. Let's go back to we were talking about Diddy. Uh, Diddy or didn't he? <laughs> yeah, that's a good one. Uh, look forward to the show. Appreciate it. Uh, and yes, appreciate the shout out, uh, to Tyler. I'd love to have her on the podcast. I, I will remind her, you know what? Let me do this. Let me, you know what? For, for the dragon. Maybe got a lot of family over. Boy, come on. Let me see. Here we go. Let me get Tyler on. Let me get Tyler. Here we go. Tyler. Don't forget your being requested to on a podcast on what is it, Dragon Movie Guys Channel. Movie Guys Channel. We are live now. <laughs> so there, I did. There you go. Put it right 